Oh, okay, one well, thing, all those end conversations I've been having with myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. it's why. What do you reckon? You keep turning the tap on and you won't shut it off for me? Um, what I reckon is whatever plans anybody had in January and February this year, they'd have to be like this. It's just going to be, listen, it's going to turn the weather, it's going to turn the storm after the storm, we're making a storm. The problem is it's going to come right back and it's just going to be a whole different, whole different system. And it's, what do you reckon we're going to go the opposite way now? Yeah, just I would say every time with those, those turn now and you know, we stood under high teams and the temperature stood away like we were 18, 19 degrees very, very hot. Oh, there's going to be grass everywhere because we're not getting grass we use, but you know, um, that's going to end up. We could be being on stage for a couple of weeks, but being on carrots to get off extra grass, like. Just to get rid of it? Well, if they come, if they come, they're well heat thinking about it now. Well, then the grass is going to jump out of the ground. Uh, because there's no stock on the ground. Eating grass. There's no demand at the moment for grass. So it's all going to grow at the one time. So the stock's not going to get in there all quick enough. So it's going to, it's going to get too strong. It's going to have to be cut out like a river. So that's, that's the way I see it going to go anyway. But as far as crops and stuff goes a year, like whatever hard land is sold, it's going to go on. Well, that's a good time, maybe. Next two, three weeks to get crop on. I'm not even thinking about it now. You're hanging your cup back to nothing? Aye, aye. No, there's enough to do. It's hard enough to get through the work that we need to do. You know, we can do without the crops for a year. So you're not going to bull on like me and put two tractors in for the best? No. <laughs> I've, I've, had, I've had time and I've not, you know, nothing else. But we have that much in the rice bed. I don't think it's the tanks are full. It's only a and the tanks are all full. Um, is it as bad know. as they're saying? Like, you're right through them. Oh, I think, it's, I think it's. Well, I know down south they're getting it really bad. The reason they're getting it really bad, we usually prepare for this. Yeah. We love cutting silage, heaps of heaps of silage in the pit, heaps of silage in the air. You know, we're used to six, seven month workers. So uh, we're, we're kind of prepared for it. Um, but, you know, we're only so long, long financially, so we're so long for years. Yeah, well, that's what doing. Nobody makes money all winter. I suppose too, you can see the difference in attitude too up here compared to the south, where Dundee up here and the sales sites, they're full of bales of silage up here. Yes. Lots of men have surplus, whereas down the south, they're not Aye. used to this. Like, and yeah. they're, they're crying out for crop. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're not really going to fight there because they're thinking like, you know, a lot of extra weight and Dundee cows and stuff. That's a hell of a year. I suppose if it stays like this going into the future for the next few years. Ah, oh, it's going to be all good. Like twenty twenty three. 2023 was tough, like mentally on me. 2023 was tough. So every man phoning, hey, you know what? If you charge for your time talking on the phone, I'll do the work, you better off. Like, everybody's in the same boat. I suppose nobody thinks about the contractor here and the stress that they put you under. Whereas <laughs> Listen, hey, every man's shouting, and once the good weather comes, there's only so much time to go around. And that's, that's getting to everyone and getting through. The worst thing I find now, years ago, you could have handled a little better because. Everybody has a forecast on their phone now. Everybody knows the forecast. Yes. They're not relying on the BBC country fine <laughs> weather on a Sunday. They're not watching <laughs> you know, it once a week and seeing and, where it goes. And you know, a man rings you and says, ah, I made a third. It's like a cup and I'd love a say, you know, maybe. And, you know, that's a Sunday. It's to be dry, Wednesday and Thursday. Well, he, I know, he knows it. Ah, what do you think? Um, do you see any forecast? I've seen the same forecast as you. I'm looking at it every 20 minutes, the same as you. <laughs> So, you know, I will have no panic, but you can know hours off maybe Wednesday morning there and throw it on and say, well, if that suits you, like, ah, no bother, I do the only man for any of you, like, you know, the other boys saying the same thing, you can predict the phone call before you answer? Oh, I see. Quarter past one there, and it's only the phone starts to ring, so it's a fireman forecast, or, <laughs> oh, quarter past one or quarter to two or something. 
if it would just start to rain straight away since the broadcast over, but I can listen to it. It's getting a little easier now, and uh, if you see yourself, we're smelling it. I think we're what, a month behind, you'd normally have a spread a month ago. Aye, yeah, yeah. You're struggling yeah, to even get in the gate now. Yeah, and this is probably one of the. Like, there's a fee there now, like, it's probably one of the years now since it's sold out, like, I'm slipping well, and put a lot of effort into it now, I'm going to spell it through, isn't it? Alright, we need to bust. We're not going to get done next week, I remember looking at the podcast. Ah, oh, it's good, I guess. What's left over there, lad? So, you know, you know the bottom glass there. What's it sound like? I'm going to go into the fence like that the other way. Alright. Good job, we have a good plan to level up these tracks again. Isn't it? Good job, sunk up to the axles, you're just lost in traction and that's it. Yeah, like if you go if you go and stand them tracks there now, like on the reefs hard as a you know solid like you know, you know solid. Yeah I'm noticing the same. I'm just lost in traction from the plow I'm not sinking but I just can't get the traction to pull forward. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's, it's, you're just sitting on top of it like well we're well weighted here and it takes a lot for us here to sink there, in fairness but What's left there? No, I lot. Right, just let me know when you're finished there. I'll say we'll chance more load each time I move that far side and make it a ton, but the rest of it can be a better type. Or off the side, we're just going. So this is, we're just out today. This is side of ground, as you know. It's a month late. We shouldn't be on here today at all. We have night lock of sorry now. We're getting phone up at home with sorry because Carl used to be coming for And what we're doing now today is just a great time. So we could go to drier ground that was already done and do it again. But we want to get the sorry on this ground because I yeah. used to get the get the nuisance on it. We just want to try and fuck these things in time with the dog and have them done on the way. Yeah. So it is. I don't know. What about the crops? Maybe. The end of the month. I don't know. It's not looking good at the minute, but it's going in one way or another. I'm yeah. hoping I'll get over the ground and be a bit lighter than every other man and get through and get out the far side. Yeah. I still need the drying to get the ground dry enough to put it in. I don't know, like, if you get some of it ploughed, like, it doesn't take long for it to dry when it's ploughed, and a couple of wee days you're in, like, but, uh, time's rolling on. Uh, you know, it's, it's rolling on. I know oats or whatever can be time enough, but the later it goes in, the later the crop, the later is your cotton. Yeah. And it's the later your cotton. That's the big problem, so yeah. you know it's September, Yeah, you're always you trying can, to get... You get four hours in the middle of the day to do something, the rest of June falls, and... That's it, and you want to try and hit them first couple of weeks in September, if you push past that, you're... Yeah. Yeah. You're starting to lost ground. Well, I would say in general, in general, or in this part at the moment, like there is plenty of silage about. There's no nobody. Well, there is people out of silage, but there's silage available to them. But I would say, hey, this day next week, hey, it's, it disappears quite. Yeah. Well, we're into. We're into the first week of April now. Yeah, it's so first week of April, like we're spreading slowly since the first of February. Hey. We only missed two or three days, real wet days. But we're not getting no volume of slurry out. We're not getting, you know, we get no work done. We're just, yeah. you know, just emergency service tanks are falling and you go out to the wee lock or one to dry fill here, dry fill there. A couple of weeks ago, dried up for many days with a good shot of work done, but we've got a lot of slurry to spread over summer. Those tanks that are falling, that's you know, fertilizer, some fertilizer on, but not, not enough like this year now. 
I'll be starting to panic on the 10th of April with my Sunday schedule. I've finished the Federation for, you know. Well, it's pushing you back for cutting, isn't it? Well, we probably we won't push back the cutting date. What we'll do is we'll cut back the circulation rate. Yes, And we'll still cut it the same date, like around that, anywhere between the 15th and the 25th of May. So, we we'll should just, yeah. just allow for that wee one bell weather if we get it. But, um, so, we'll probably cut back on the night switch a wee bit, like so. Depends when we get it on. We're not going to get it on next week. We've got to things, so, you know. It's, 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 I watch the way the YR there, sometimes you fight and sometimes you fail, but it gives you a wee idea, you know. There next Wednesday, let them all around you fall. Like, so. Ah, you never know. Um, you never know, like, it's, it's the ground didn't dry up a lot when there was pregnancy. Yeah, there's yeah, no point in running it into the ditch, is there? Um, everybody when you do that. Nah, it's not good, like, this calendar farm is not walking too 